Hello everyone, welcome to the 8085 practical series. So today we'll be doing the main practical number 5. So there are a few programs. The first one, uh, calculate the sum of series of numbers, the length of the series in memory location 4200H and the series begins from memory location 4201. So we have to calculate the sum of the numbers and the numbers they are stored in memory locations uh, from 4201 and the total numbers how many numbers are there we have to add like if there are 10 numbers so that number will be that that digit no, 10 will be stored at 4200 and the number they will begin from 4201 so there are two cases first case is consider the sum to be 8 bit number so when we are adding we have to consider that the sum will be only of 8 bit not more than 8 bit so we have to ignore the carry so we ignore the carry and we have to store the result at 4300 in the second case, we have to consider the sum to be uh, more than 8 bit, it is, it is uh, 16 bit. So we need to store the entire 16 bit number. So the sum would be of 16 bit, so we have to store the sum, the first 8 bit in 4300 and the higher bit in 4301. So let us see, uh, sorry, we will see the program. The first one, consider the sum to be 8 bit number, so we ignore the carry and store the sum at location 4300 so this is the program okay this is the program you can note down this uh, okay the hex code i'll explain the program so here we have the program okay. now in this particular program the first instruction is alexa h4200 we need to initialize the memory pointer because it is in uh, uh, actually a series so 4200 so with this alexa 4200 Four two zero zero will be stored here. Okay. Now let us assume there is some data. Like suppose if we have this is five here. Okay. Then one three and so on. We have some numbers here already. Okay. We have to store the numbers first and then we have to continue with this program. So Alexa H four two zero zero. So with the Alexa H four two zero zero four two will be stored in H and zero zero will be stored in L. Okay. Now next instruction move C comma M. Now with this instruction move C comma M the data which is stored in memory location which is pointed by hl now hl is pointing with this 4200 so this data 05 will be stored in register c so this will we get this 05 in register c so this 5 is it means that there are five numbers we have to store so because it is the problem is given that the total number which we have to add is in 4200 and the number they begin from 4201 so there are five numbers which we have to add now next instruction is xraa now this instruction is uh, used to clear the contents of register a so when we start the program a may contain anything we want to clear register a so one of the instruction of clearing register a is xraa okay so xra will xor the contents of a with itself so we know whatever the data if we xor the data with the data itself the uh, the output we get is zero okay so irrespective of whatever is stored in a xr a a will make this a equal to zero there is of course another way we can also do this by mvi a zero zero h but this is a two byte instruction we'll do the same thing and here we are doing it only single byte instruction so we give save one byte next what we do is a uh, inx h now why are we doing this xr a why are we clearing this a will it will be clear uh, why are we just um, making a as 0 so it will be cleared afterwards now inxh with inxh this hl will become 4201 okay so this is where the memory pointer will be with inxh now with add m what this add m do, does add m adds the contents of register a with the contents of memory location which is pointed by hl now hl is pointed this particular location so this content 01 is added with a and stored in a okay so this will become of course a equal to a plus m okay so a is 0 0 and m is 1 so it will become 0 1 this will become 0 1 of course now we have understood that why we are making a as 0 if we hadn't make a as 0 then there would be some data in a which which would be added in this so we don't want anything in a we want to clear a because when we are adding this if there would be already some data it would have been added with this data okay so we have to clear this now next instruction is dcrc so here c 
what this first number which is stored in five in register C it gives the total numbers which we have to add so we have already added the first number so we need to decrement that C means that it is actually C register C contains a number of count okay so we have already added the first number so DCRC will make this as 04 now what will the next instruction is J and Z okay J and Z means what if C is not jump if not 0 so if C is not 0 so jump to this star so star is here okay it will come to again to an INXH now what this INXH will do it will increment the content of HL so it will become 4202 okay it will become 4202 again add M now add M will add the contents of register A with register with the contents of memory location which is pointed by HL so now it comes to next so it is uh, so memory pointer is now here 4202 the content is 03 03 is added with a a was 1 so 1 plus 3 becomes 4 okay so as we can see as we proceed this will be added again dcrc dcrc because it was 4 it will become 3 and so on so this will continue this loop will continue until c becomes 0 as soon as a becomes 0 we have already added all the data okay from 4 to 0 1 0 2 0 3 0 4 0 5 after 0 5 this dcrc will make c equal to 0 and this condition will become false because we are given jump if no 0 so it's actually c will become 0 so it will come out of the loop and after this whatever data is in register a is our actual result okay and because it is given that we have to store the data at 4300 so sta what it will do it will store the content whatever the final result final sum from a will be stored in this particular location okay so this is how the program works now let us do it on uh, jubin simulator now before entering the program we will enter some data in that location from 4200 to 4205 so reset set then 4200 INR so I will be adding five numbers so I will just uh, type the count here five so I have to have five numbers so I will enter five here then INR I will just put 0101 zero, one, zero, one everywhere I can put any number of course any number we can put but uh, I am putting 0101 zero, one, zero, one in a every memory location because the if I put 0101 zero, one, zero, one, there are five numbers so the sum should be 05 okay it is easier for us to uh, verify our answer okay I'll verify the output so I'll just put 0101 zero, one everywhere okay. then again 01 okay. then again INR 01 INR 01 and then INR 01 okay so this is the data I will put here okay now I just reset and now I will enter the program and then we'll execute and uh, and actually verify the output Now after entering the uh, program, we will just uh, run it and check the result. So reset, go, 8000 and execute. Okay. Now we have to check the memory location 4300, it must contain 05. So reset, set, then 4300 and INR, so we get 5. So that's all how we do this program. Now let us go to the second one. Now this is the second part. So here consider the sum to be 16 bit number and store the sum at locations 4300 and 4301. So this is the program. You can note down the program and the hex code. So this is similar to the previous one where the total number of count is stored in 4200 and the number starts from 4201. But here uh, the, the sum may also be more than 8 bits. So we need to store the entire result. So this is the code, you can check, okay. note down and I'll just explain the code, okay. so this is the code. Okay. So the first instruction is uh, LXI H4200, okay. this LXI H4200, so of course 4200 will be stored here and of course our memory pointer will be from this point. 
okay now let us assume again we want to add five numbers so this count five is here okay so the next instruction is move c comma m so the data which is in memory location m which is pointed by hl will be stored in c so this data 0 5 will be stored here okay so we have to add five numbers so we are storing the count in register c then again xr aa will actually clear the data of register a so aa will become zero and of course we are again putting that a in b so b we also make b as zero zero okay so we have to make both we have to clear both registers and we know that we want to clear a because if we don't clear a something will be there in a which will be added to our data and we will get the wrong result okay and of course we also want to clear b because the higher whatever carries we are getting that we have to store in register b so we are already clearing b then next instruction is inx h okay. inx h will increment the memory point is 420 0 will become 4201 so our memory point is here so whatever data let us assume the data is 09 here okay and this is maybe like 10 and so on some data is stored okay that five data are there so with add m next instruction add m add m will add the content of the register a with the content of the memory pointed by hl so hl is actually pointing to 4201 now because it's 4201 so this 9 will be added with register a and stored in register a so a will become 09 okay and here we are giving the instruction jump if no carry so if carry is not generated then jump to this star so this star will go here okay so if carry is not we of course we are not getting any carry okay so it will jump to this dcrc okay so dcrc will decrement the count we have already added one number so this 0405 will become 04 and we check whether this c is zero or not with j and z if it is not zero it will jump to this inxh so inxh will make this memory as 4201 will become 4202 okay so this will become 4202 okay then it will become 4202 okay. so this will become 4202 so this was actually 4 okay and this was actually 9 okay then uh, next instruction inx h actually will become 420 then add m what will it will do so this is now 4202 okay so with add m the content of register a will be added with the content the next content that is 10 so 10 plus 9 is 19 okay 19 actually so suppose uh, we have some data like if what will happen if carry is generated actually we will see that case what will happen if carry is generated so after addition suppose carry is generated then what it will do this instruction okay so after addition suppose a carry is generated then after add m this instruction this condition j and c so we are given j and c so if if carry is not generated it will jump to this but if carry is generated it will increment b okay so whenever a carry is generated this inr b will increment so if b actually b was 0 0 when we started so it will become 0 1 so every carry which is generated will increment this b okay and addition is done with a and when all the numbers are done okay when all the addition is done this dcrc will make c as equal to zero and this j and z will ensure that it won't jump up because this condition will fail because c has become zero and we are giving the condition j and z so okay so when c becomes zero this condition will fail so it will go to the next instruction sta4300 now what this sta4300 will do whatever sum we are getting the final sum is in a okay so this sum will be stored in 4300 okay? and because we have to store the other byte okay whatever carries we are gen we, that is the gen we, which generated it is in actually register b and we have to store that in 4301 so what we do next instruction is transfer the data from b to a okay b to a because all this whatever carries are generally are stored in b and we cannot store the data from b directly to the memory location so we uh, take the data from b to a and then sta4301 so whatever carries the next byte is stored in 4301 so this is how this program is executed let's execute in jubin simulator now now we'll store some data so as done in the previous case so reset set 4200 
so I again add 5 data I will do 5 add 5 data bytes so I will just store 0 5 here okay and the data which I store is 8 8 in every memory location okay 8 8 8 8 and 8 8 okay now this I am adding this 8 8 5 times okay so what answer sh we should get we, we must also know that okay for that purpose we can have the scientific calculator okay as you can see I have just have the scientific calculator here okay so this scientific calculator okay, I'll show the calculation this 8 8 into 5 so we get the answer as 2 a 8 so this is the hexadecimal because our machine will work in hexadecimal notation so a 8 8 if we add it 5 times actually I multiply it 5 times it is same as adding 8 8 5 times so what we answer we should get is 2 a 8 that should be the answer okay so after execution we must get uh, a8 in 4300 and 02 in 4301 okay now let us uh, enter the program now Now let us execute the program. So reset, okay. go eight zero 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 and execute. Now after executing, we must get the result at uh, four three zero zero and four three zero one. So reset, examine memory four three zero zero inr. So this a eight and inr zero two. So that is what we uh, were expecting. Okay. So DCF I do so this is 2A8 is the answer. Okay, we can verify the answer also. So that's all for this particular session. Actually, there are two more programs I left, but this session is becoming too much lengthy. So I am cutting short. So I will be doing the next two practicals in the next video. So do join. Thanks for watching.